Royal fans and critics of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are spreading the statement issued by Bishop Talbert Swan, an author and rights activist who has objected to the award the Duke of Sussex received at the NAACP Image Awards. Taking to Twitter, he wrote, Tell me what he has done to advance the cause of justice for black people in America to deserve an award from the most influential civil rights organization in the nation. Swan said, when was Prince Harry on the front lines against police brutality and the extrajudicial murder of black people? Below is his full statement. When has he challenged America's disparate response to black people addicted to crack versus white people addicted to opioids? When was Prince Harry on the front lines fighting against mass incarceration of black people and disparate sentencing laws? Did he throw his significant resources behind efforts to fight voter suppression what's your Restore the Voting Rights Act? If Prince Harry is so deserving of a civil rights award, tell me when the hell did he challenge Britain to pay reparations to the descendants of Africans they enslaved across the Caribbean and in North America? What about descendants of nations they colonized for centuries? If Prince Harry deserves an award from a justice organization tell me when did he challenge his family to give back the billions of dollars worth of diamonds, precious gems, and other artifacts that they stole from Africa? In the other hand, Prince Harry appeared uncomfortable during their television appearance, according to psychologist and body language expert Darren Stanton. Speaking on behalf of Slingo, Mr. Stanton told, footage of Harry and Meghan during their recent appearance at the NAACP Awards makes for interesting viewing. Harry was not looking like his normal, relaxed self. Instead, his face was flushed and he displayed odd body language while up on stage. Sometimes when people are anxious they will smile nervously or hold something, like a coffee cup. For reassurance. In this situation, Harry is gripping the award as a means of reassurance. His facial muscles appear tense and he isn't smiling. It suggests Harry was feeling uncomfortable, but went ahead with the appearance in support of Meghan. If you notice the angle of Harry's body in relation to Meghan's, he pretty much has his posture turned to the left so he is facing her. This demonstration is known as matching a mirror and signifies that he and Meghan have a great rapport, but in this context, it can mean so much more. We already know that the couple have an incredible connection, but Harry's body position here is almost an unconscious way of him feeding off of Meghan's confidence on stage. The couple bagged the honor for their work through the Archul Foundation, which they launched in 2020. Through this project, the couple have supported efforts to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic and focused their attention on the Black Lives Matter movement and fighting for racial justice. During the couple's speech, Harry thanked the Black community for welcoming me so warmly, while Meghan, who brought her mother Doria Raglan to the award show, said she couldn't be prouder. Meghan did not appear hampered by the same anxieties as her husband, Mr. Stanton claimed. He explained, Meghan, by comparison, was super confident. Her body language was calm and her dialogue was well delivered. What I did find bizarre was that she doesn't reciprocate Harry's body language by turning her body towards his to show the same unconscious support he does. Instead, Meghan positioned herself front on to deliver her piece directly to the camera. It's clear Harry felt out of place at being honored at the awards, while Meghan was much more comfortable with the adulation and the attention that came with it and made sure to soak up the ceremony's atmosphere. The couple both wore ensembles by black designers out of respect for the civil rights organization. Meghan's flowing blue gown is by Christopher John Rogers, while Harry's tux is by Oswald Boateng. The awards show appearance marks Meghan and Harry's first major Hollywood appearance since moving to California in 2020.